this is a quick how-to video on sending control information from Max into Ableton. So this, we need to check setup first. So the first thing we do is check our Ableton live settings. Um, what I'm going to use is this uh, MIDI device from Max One. So I need to get input into Ableton. So I'm going to use from Max One this input of turning both of these things on. And that means that this drop down now has from max one. And I pick my channel from there. I need to do something similar in max. I need to check my MIDI setup. And my from max one device is on. It is so I can send output from max to my input in Ableton. So the object that I need is control out. If you take a look at the help file of this, it tells us that uh, control out has, we send it the value, it also has a controller number and it has a MIDI port number. So if we can, if we want to send multiple things, we're going to need to change the port number. We could probably stick with the same MIDI, um, or sorry, we're going to need to change the control number, but we can probably stick with the same MIDI channel unless we're sending more than 16 bits of information. Um, so when I come out of edit mode and I double click on this, you see the MIDI devices that are uh, possible here, what I'm going to send this information to. So I want to send from max one. Um, and if I do this and just click on it now, when I double click on it, you can see it says from max one. The problem is that I would have to do this every time I open the patch. And if I was using this in performance, I would probably forget. So I'm going to instead use load mess and say from max one and now when I connect that let's change it back and now when I double click on load mess which will load when I open the patch it has changed it to from max one so that's good right so I'll have to pick my channel number and port number uh, so I'm gonna send this to one one so what I'm going to have to do is map this over here. I want to set this to from max one, channel one. When I turn on my MIDI, I'm going to choose what I want to map. So I'm going to click on what I want to map. And I'm going to go back into max. I'm going to click and drag my slider. I'm going to make sure that I uh, double click on load mess. Now when I move my slider, you can see that that has mapped one one. Great. What you should really do immediately is turn off your mapping because it's really easy to just click on next thing and have have that information get overridden. So it's a good idea just to turn that off again. So that's it. If you want to send more than that, then we just need to duplicate these things. Of course, you don't need to use sliders. You can use dials or uh, random number generators. Uh, maybe that's too fast. So if we try to send all of this on the same channel number, we're going to run into problems. So we need to change that to Oops. Okay, so now let's connect all these up again. Double click on that to make sure that they are all set. They are good. Uh, so now I'm going to map these one by one. Back at Ableton and click on my next thing. Move this around, it's mapped. Click on my next thing. Move that around, it's mapped. No, it hasn't mapped. Did I click on it? There we go. Click on my fourth thing. That has mapped, excellent. Now I turn my mapping back off. This one 
it's going to be sending information all the time once I've got that turned on. The other ones are going to require me to interact with them to do that. Great. So now I've sent controller information one, two, three and four from Max into Ableton. <laughs> 